A couple of days ago, I created this short film, Chart Your Own Path, with the help of AI. The AI imitated the style of my favorite YouTuber, wrote the full video script, and then narrated it. This is an early form of AI automation for content creation. Today, I'm going to show you how exactly I did it behind the scenes. I'm Logan, an, an engineer, engineer and creator and building AI tools. Sorry, that was the AI that narrated the short film. My voice is not as pretty as hers, but I'll walk you through this process anyway. Before I bore you with the details, I'll mention the key takeaway of this video. Please try Copilot for Obsidian for your writing tasks. I believe good content requires a real personal touch, so I recommend using AI to help us, not to replace us. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The other day, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Life of Riza. In the past few months, I was constantly inspired by her style of deep, personal self-reflection. Suddenly, I had a thought. What if I can imitate her style to write something meaningful myself? As a lazy-ass engineer without much writing skill, my first instinct is to let AI write it for me. First, I need to break down this task into smaller steps. Get the sample scripts to imitate. Fill them to AI to analyze the style. Write an outline of my own content and let AI rewrite and expand them according to the style. In order to make it a video, I also need the AI to appropriately insert visuals and scenes into the script. And then I'll find stock footage for these scenes and use a text-to-speech AI for narration. This is about it. It doesn't have to be YouTube. You can apply the same process to, for example, create viral tweet threads like those thread boys or generate any content in any style. I call it the style transfer of text. However, the steps required are quite tedious. I don't have time for this. So for YouTube in particular, you need to get the creator's video scripts manually and have a lot of back and forth with the AI. But what if you can compose just one prompt and get what you want? What would this prompt look like? I guess this should look something like this. Analyze the style of some YouTube scripts and rewrite the following text in the same style. This is a simplified version of the prompt, but it could be a good start. And now you might ask, wait, what even is this? You can't do this kind of templating in ChatGPT. That you are right. This is where Copilot for Obsidian comes in. If you don't know what it is, it's a free plugin I developed for the super popular note-taking app Obsidian. You can use it to construct super complex prompts with your notes like this one. I won't go through the installation and setup of the plugin here, but you can check the link in the description for more details. After setting it up, we just need to grab some YouTube scripts into some markdown files in a folder and plug the path of the folder into the custom prompt. Now is the time to get the YouTube script. The manual way of getting the script is to find show transcript button in the description. This is good enough for most recent videos in English, but for videos in other languages or for a playlist of videos, this is not going to work. So I came up with my own solution. Basically, you can run a speech to text AI over a playlist of videos and get all the transcripts in one run. All this is free and local on your computer too. I won't go through the details here, but you can find the open source project in the description below if you're interested. We have the sample test now. The next step is to compose the prompt and check if it works. Here I've written an outline. There have been a lot of layoffs out there recently, so I have this message for those who are affected or to those who need some encouragement to find their own path and their own sense of achievement in life. Now, these are only broken and scattered sentences at the top of my mind. Let's see if some AI magic can make it a more worthy video script. I'm using this uh, copilot command called apply ad hoc custom prompt. This is when you don't need to save this custom prompt just to test it. Okay, uh, it's not too bad, but you can still see it's quite like the tone of ChatGPT itself. It's nothing like 
life of Riza. These sentences are still too long, and the wordings are quite formal. To me, what life of Riza sounds like is more personal. It's more like a conversation. So the key, I think, is the rhythm. This is should be shorter, and it should be more casual. So one neat trick is to let ChatGPT write a prompt for itself. So here is a prompt that I used for it to analyze the tone, vocabulary, sentence structure, and pacing, etc., and come up with a prompt to mimic the style. Okay, this is a much better, much more detailed instruction. The more details it has, the better it performs. Now I'm using this new instruction as my prompt and see whether it works. Now I'm just copy pasting this prompt that it came up by itself into my custom prompt. Given this example, please follow these instructions to imitate its style and then rewrite my selection. Oh wow! Would you look at that? This is awesome. This is exactly how I came up with my script. Until now, we have been using GPT-4. Is it really necessary? Let me demonstrate a local small model, a Mistral 7B, and see if it can do this task. I'm gonna load it using LM Studio, turning off the Wi-Fi to show it's real, and pick it in the dropdown here. You see, this is typical for. Smaller models—they don't really follow instruction that well. Now it has、um, this extra part above, but the result is actually not too bad. It's not as good as GPT-4, that's for sure. I'm not gonna focus on this part because this is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna. Ask the AI to insert scenes into my script, and I'll just go online and find some stock footage to fill in. Actually, I think this is a big component to be automated in the future. The steps are clear. Just grab the scenes that AI generated in the script,、uh, search a library of public stock footage, and automatically assemble the timeline. Some tools may be already doing this. For example, I think CapCut does this for a while. But the last time I tried, the quality was not very good. The scenes were not coherent, and the、um, the result was unusable. If you happen to know better tools for this, please comment down below and let me know. I think this is definitely the future of video editing, though. So perhaps I'll build something there myself. Who knows? I have always been fascinated by text-to-speech and voice cloning models. The current state-of-the-art provider is Eleven Labs. The one I used in the short film Joanna, the narrator, is from them. You can already tell how good it is. You probably prefer her voice over mine. But there are also free and open-source versions showing up in the market. For example. Suno AI Spark has been one of the leading free TTS options. It gives you a lot of control, but it's also not very stable. It's quite hard to get a high quality output. More recently, there is a startup called MetaVoice, who open sourced a model called MetaVoice 1B. I tried it briefly, and it's actually not bad. This is a sample I created with their model. Check out who this is. This is a demo of text-to-speech by MetaVoice 1B, an open-source foundational audio model by MetaVoice. If it's technically feasible, I'm considering adding it to Copilot for Obsidian as a free TTS provider. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. It goes without saying that. With this video, I'm not really claiming that I produced anything remotely close to what Life of Riza has. My real goal is to demonstrate the power of complex prompt composition. 
Consider this simple formula. Analyze and learn a knowledge base and assist me doing tasks. Imagine when GPT-5 drops or when we have GPT-4 level free open source models. This formula will be so much more effective than it is today. For example, we can learn a new subject using a big bulky textbook. We can learn a new framework using its documentation and churn out our own code immediately. Or we can learn a gigantic code base at work within a day. I'm sure I'm lacking imagination here, but you get what I mean. Now, go crazy exploring the advanced custom prompt feature in Copilot for Obsidian, and let me know what crazy stuff you achieve with it. I'm Logan, an engineer who's committed to making AI accessible to everyone. The biggest update ever is coming soon. Please subscribe to this channel and click the little bell to get notified. Thanks for watching.